Very good morning, friends. Myself, Professor M. H. Chennaiya. In this video, which is very important from the viewpoint of examination, we are going to learn the projection of a pentagonal lamina which is resting on VP on one of its sides or edges. So, this is the pentagon I have taken which has got a side 30 mm and uh, this side can be called as AB. So, in the question it says like this, a pentagonal lamina resting on edge on VP. So, whenever the lamina has to rest on an edge or on a corner on VP, place the lamina on VP. What are going to be the lamina? Now we have taken pentagonal lamina. We have placed it on VP and we have obtained in the print view the regular pentagon of side 30 mm and in the top view you see it as a line on XY. So friends, we have to construct this pentagon A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash and this will have a length is equal to 30 and friends even the construction of this pentagon is very important. Here yeah, friends, after writing this line, vertical line, you can take this angle equal to, what is the angle you take? So, the interior angle in a pentagon is 300, so that is 108 degree because the exterior angle is equal to 72. How do you get the 72 degree friends? This is 360 degree divided by 5 that will give you 72 or the interior angle will be equal to 108 that is 180 minus 72. Friends we have got the figure constructed beside AB I will say here AB is perpendicular to or A dash B dash perpendicular to HP. So we are keeping like this. Friends we have obtained the top view it is going to be a line of this width from here to here this width which I call as M. So friends, I will project all these points and obtain A, B, C, E and D, the five corners of the pentagonal lapina. Friends, in the next position, its surface is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. In all the problems of lamina, first you should see the initial position, whether it has to rest on the edge or on the corner. Then the next step is, what is the inclination made by the surface with HP or VP? That has to be considered in the second step. Friends, the surface is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. And it was like this. Now, slightly I am going to rotate like this about that edge on VP. Such that it is making an angle with VP and that is equal to 30 degree. Friends, Inclination to VP can be seen only in the top view. I had the top view like this. I am going to redraw this here such that this angle it is going to make here is going to be 30 degree. So the length M is redrawn keeping AB one of the sides or edges here and we obtain what is called the corresponding print view. That's by projecting lines from all these friends from A, B, C, E and D you will get. And you should be very careful and project the lines one by one only. So friends, how to get this? Uh, draw a vertical line from A, horizontal line from A dash. The point where those two intersect is A dash. Likewise point D here, point C, point D and point E. So, when this lamina is inclined to this VP, the lateral width, dimension from here to here, gets reduced depending on the amount of inclination it is making with that. So, friends, we have got all the five points. We have joined them by straight line. This is the second position where the lamina surface is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Friends, this part, if there are 15 marks allocated, you get 5 marks for this 
and again 5 marks for B. In the third step, friends, it says in the question, the side on VB, the side on VB is A dash B dash, that is again perpendicular to VB, but it says it has to be at an angle of how much? 30 degrees, sorry, this is 40 degrees to VB. So I have drawn a line here at an angle of 40 degrees. Then whatever the figure I had here, like this, that has to be kept like this, so that that particular edge which is on VP remains same 30 millimeter. Now I have to reproduce this figure such that this edge AB which is perpendicular here will be at an angle of 40 degrees. So to make easy reproduction of this figure, I have enclosed the complete figure in a box P U R S. A B lies on P Q. Hence I have drawn this P Q R S with P Q on the 40 degree line. Friends, after that you can just get all these points on this box P Q R S. A lies near to P. Take this measurement, mark it there. Similarly, from the other end, get point B. Then, opposite to PQ, we have SR. Exactly in the center, you get B dash. Mark that. Friends, finally, I should get E. How to get E? E is nearer to S. Take this measurement and mark here. You get E. Then, extend that line to the last. That you get point C dash at the same distance. That is, this distance is equal to this distance. We have reproduced the figure with the side AB at 40 degrees to HP and we obtain the point A, B, C, D, E, etc. by projecting these lines one by one. So, to get point A, vertical line from A dash, horizontal line from A, they meet here. So, similarly, vertical line from B, Horizontal line from this B, they intersect here. So we got AB. Then to get C, draw a vertical line from C, a horizontal line from this. The point of intersection will give you C. Similarly, E you will get here. Final reference D, draw a vertical line from D, a horizontal line from here. The point where those two intersect is D. So friends, join all these five points by straight line. So this will represent the final top view of the lamina and this A dash B dash C dash A dash A dash gives you final print view. And finally before we conclude we should have a check whether the solution we have got is right or wrong. How to check friends? Friends the side is lamina is resting on side on VP on VP. So, in all the print view, that side should be uh, all the x, y, then a dash, b dash, a dash, b dash, a dash, b dash. Since it is on VP, the length of that will never change. So, this is 30, this will be 30, this is also equal to 30, this a, b, that is one part. Second part, surface is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Surface is seen as a line, that line is here. This surface is an, an angle of 30 degrees to VP and inclination to VP can be seen only in the top view. Friends, in the second position, side AB on VP is perpendicular to HP but that should be at an angle of 40 degrees to VP. So I have redrawn this figure by enclosing it in a box PQRS such that PQ is on that line because AB has to be at an angle of 40 degrees to VP and obtain the final top view. Friends, please go through the complete video and if you like this video, do share with all your friends without fail. Thank you very much.